I think I knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. I knew we'd be on the team. I don't know if they were going to tag him or get this deal done before the week ended. Four years, $160 million. Dak makes $126 million guaranteed. Pretty good. Pretty good deal for Dak. Pretty good deal for the Cowboys, I think, too. Yeah, isn't this the going rate right now, Sal, for a quarterback like Dak? I mean, the only reason why it might not be going uh, the going rate is because of his injury uh, that he suffered last year. Obviously, they're very confident that he's making a uh, full recovery from that injury. And um, this deal seems right on par with what every other top 10 quarterback is going to be getting. Uh, maybe in two years from now, we might be saying, wow, this deal actually looks pretty good. Uh, favorable more for the Cowboys than for Dak. But I think it's a very f fair deal for both the team and for Dak. Who says he's a ten, top 10 quarterback, Darren? Oh, you don't look at numbers, Harry? How do you? How do you I'm, I'm, I'm looking at numbers. I'm like, oh. for that type of money. Pretty sure that, Harry had money on him to win the MVP money, last year. I mean, or whatever that, it was. For, and yeah. most passing yards. For, right. And what else did he have money on? I, uh, I had him for most passing yards <laughs> because they always got to come come from behind in the second half. Meanwhile, uh, if you want to go numbers, look at the, if you're going to spend that type of money, just go after Deshaun Watson. Well, here's why not, maybe, Harry, because the Cowboys, as bad as they've been, and they're favored at minus 105 to win the NFC. Understood. East. Understood. Okay. So why would you have to swing big for Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson, who I don't think they were going to get anyway, so you're just going to end up with a Jimmy G or someone like that. If you're a Giants fan, wouldn't the Giants be better off going after Deshaun Watson? Yeah, right. Do I'm that, just saying. Listen, just saying. I'm not. I'm right. not. I'm not denying that. I take him in a heartbeat. Well, guess what? They paid a little more than they needed to. This deal is over in four years, and in four years, Parley Kid, like you said, these other deals are going to dwarf that. So it's cyclical, and maybe it's rebuilding year. But a rebuilding year in the NFC East still means you can win the division. Brian is suspiciously quiet about this, but I think he agrees. <laughs> this is not a terrible. Uh, crushing a uh, crippling move by the Cowboys. No, look, I mean, as a Raider fan, I mean, we saw this with Carl. We saw this with Stafford years ago where everybody was up in arms like, oh my God, those guys are getting $25 million a year. These sure. contracts are huge. I mean, yeah. 40, 40 a year, if it ends up being 40 a year, is probably going to be okay because in five years or in three years, it's going to be $60 million a quarterback. So they say with the, the new television contract, yeah, in four years, injured. the cap will be close to $250 million. So right. th you're going to see, if you don't like these numbers, forget it. You better tune out for the next uh, five years or so.